Like it or not, LinkedIn's crackdown on automation tools is changing everything. It started with simple connection automations, but now entire platforms like Apollo IO and Seamless IO have been completely banned from the platform. If you're still using outdated automation tactics, you're already risking account restriction or worse, permanent suspension. But in this video, I'll show you exactly how to adapt your strategy while still scaling your outreach. I've been helping businesses with LinkedIn lead generation for seven years, but once I saw this ship coming, I changed everything. In this coming year, businesses that ignore LinkedIn's new rules will lose their accounts and their entire network. Big companies aren't using risky automation tools anymore. They're using these compliant methods instead. That's why I spent the last six months testing and refining these LinkedIn approved methods, because I want to help you stay effective without getting banned. By the end of this video, you'll have five powerful LinkedIn strategies you can implement today. So hey guys, Jake Dawson here. Hello to all of our new viewers. On this channel, we talk about all things AI and automations, making your workflows stronger, faster, and actually working for you instead of the other way around. Be sure to check out the link below. I've got a school community as well. There we have an amazing group of people helping each other build these automations, discussing business strategies. So if, if you really wanna level up your game, be sure to check that out. So the first thing I wanna talk about today is LinkedIn. LinkedIn has been aggressively enforcing its user agreement throughout 2025, leading to record numbers of account restrictions. And according to LinkedIn's official policy, they don't allow the use of third-party software or browser extensions that scrape, modify the appearance of, or automate activity on LinkedIn's website. Major tools that have been affected include Apollo IO, Seamless IO, which is completely banned, Ducks Soup, Phantom Buster, Linked Helper. All of these have been restricted. And the impact goes beyond just sales professionals. Recruiters, agency owners, and entrepreneurs are seeing their accounts restricted after years of building their network. And I get it, losing access to LinkedIn isn't just about missing some connections. It's about potentially losing your digital professional identity and years of relationship building. The real danger isn't LinkedIn's enforcement, it's being stuck in the outdated mindset that quantity beats quality. Now for years, we've been programmed to believe that more connections equal more opportunities. And this led to the rise of mass automation tools that promised to connect you with thousands of prospects with minimal effort. I mean, look at what happened to cold email. It became so saturated with automation that open rates plummeted from 30% to less than 5%. So companies that failed to adapt their outreach strategies, what happened? They got blacklisted, talking these mass email senders, phone call farms got blocked out and filtered out right away from spam detection. So LinkedIn doesn't want to go down that path. They're trying to protect their user experience uh, and in turn, the value of the platform. Now, this isn't the end for LinkedIn prospecting. It's an opportunity to evolve into a more sophisticated compliance-based approach that actually will yield better results. So let's talk about what's still allowed on LinkedIn. So we're still allowed to schedule our content and have data organization and profile view tracking, which is important to see who's interested. Uh, we also have LinkedIn Sales Navigator and Advanced Search, which is extremely powerful if you know how to use it right. Now, imagine a LinkedIn where you're actually excited to receive a notification or a message because you know that it's not just some automated message, but it's actually relevant and personal and authentic. That's where we're heading now. These changes have created five major opportunities. One, content first lead generation. So create valuable posts that start conversations. Two, strategic engagement automation. Schedule content and track interactions using compliant tools. Three, LinkedIn groups revitalization. So this is your opportunity to build communities around your expertise. Four, native LinkedIn tools mastery. Use Sales Navigator more effectively. And five, AI enhanced manual outreach. So AI helps you write and you send it manually. And in my experience, one weekly post plus 30 minutes of day of engagement equals more pipeline leads than automation has ever got me and zero warnings from LinkedIn. So to adapt, do the following. Audit your automation tools, disconnect anything that might be risky and schedule content through approved tools. 
create posts that will spark engagement and build systems that will lead to warm follow-ups, people who are actually interacting with you. For a compliant LinkedIn strategy, here are the five most effective strategies to thrive in LinkedIn's automation restricted environment. Number one, audit your current automation usage. So take inventory of all the tools that you're currently using and evaluate them against LinkedIn's user agreement. If they're mimicking human behavior, like sending messages, connection requests, automated engagement, they are putting your account at risk. The first thing you can do is disconnect any Chrome extensions that automate LinkedIn's actions. Number two, implement content scheduling safely. So content scheduling is still allowed when done through compliant tools that use LinkedIn's official API. So this means switch to tools like Post Drips, Hootsuite, or LinkedIn's native scheduling feature for publishing content. Number three, create engagement triggers. Instead of cold outreach, design content strategies that encourage target prospects to engage first. So this would be something like ending posts with thought-provoking questions that are relevant to your target audience pain points. Number four, develop a warm outreach system. When someone engages with your content, have a manual but systematic approach to continuing the conversation, such as create templates for different engagement scenarios, but personalize and send them manually. Number five, master LinkedIn's native features such as Sales Navigator, Advanced Search, and LinkedIn CRM capabilities. These are powerful and completely compliant tools. So invest time into learning advanced search operators to find highly targeted prospects without third-party tools. LinkedIn isn't stopping you from growing. It's stopping lazy prospectors from spamming, basically. So this creates a massive opportunity for professionals who are willing to put in thoughtful effort. For those wanting to learn more, LinkedIn's official marketing partners directory lists all approved tools that work within their guidelines. So let's talk about the ethical angle. This is making LinkedIn work for everyone. LinkedIn's automation crackdown isn't just about rules, it's about preserving what makes the platform valuable. Some key concerns with automation would be privacy violation. You know, this is scraping data without someone's consent. Also deteriorating the user experience. When your inbox is just full with generic messages, no one likes that and reputation damage. So if your account can be associated with spammy tactics, this doesn't look good for anyone. And last, it would decrease platform trust. This means fewer meaningful connections. So when automation runs rampant, the entire platform suffers. Consider what happened to Facebook groups. This was once valuable communities, but they became so overrun with automation and spam that many users just abandoned them entirely. LinkedIn is preserving its ecosystem by enforcing these rules and ethical professionals should support this direction. So the ethical approach isn't just better for LinkedIn, it's better for your results too. So personalized outreach shows respect for the recipient's time. Quality connections lead to genuine business relationships. Thoughtful leadership content builds authority in your industry and manual engagement forces you to understand your audience better. Now, let's be real for a second. What we're seeing on LinkedIn right now, it's not the end of prospecting. It's just the end of lazy prospecting. Mass automation, that's old news. It might've worked in the past, but let's be honest, it, it burned more bridges than it built. The people who are going to win in this new LinkedIn era, they're not the ones trying to gain the system or sneak around the rules. They're the ones who actually get it, who know that real growth comes from real relationships. Five years from now, we'll look back at the whole spray and pray method and think, what were we doing? It's not about sending a thousand messages and hoping one sticks. It's about showing up, adding value, and making sure the right people remember your name. And here's the thing. This isn't just a LinkedIn thing. It's a marketing thing. The whole world is shifting towards personalization, good user experience, and actual connection. So while other people are out there whining about limitations or crying that their bot doesn't work anymore, you, you're building real connections. You're standing out by doing the work others are too lazy to do. You're positioning yourself ahead before they even realize the game has changed. This is your edge.
So yeah, it might feel a little uncomfortable at first, but that's how you grow. And that's exactly what separates the ones who thrive from the ones who get left behind. All right, quick recap before we wrap this up. LinkedIn's cracking down hard on automation. Some of the biggest tools out there are already getting banned. But honestly, that's a good thing because now you stand out by focusing on quality, not just quantity. Posting solid content, scheduling stuff the right way, and actually talking to people like a human, yes, that works. And when you stay ethical and play the long game, you protect your rep and your results. The bottom line, the people who adapt fast will win. The ones who resist, they'll get left behind. Hey, I hope this video gave you some real strategies you can actually use. These changes aren't here to hold you back. They are your chance to do things better and finally stand out in a sea of spam. Let me know in the comments what you think. Which of these strategies are you gonna try first? Or got a no automation tactic that's been working for you? Please share below. I'd love to check it out and have a conversation about that. And hey, if you got value from this video, give it a like and subscribe and stick around. We've got more tips coming your way to help you dominate digital marketing in 2025 and beyond. And if you wanna level up, and be the first to know when these platforms are changing and the tactics that we have to overcome that, be sure to check out the school community below. We've got an amazing group of people building automations, helping each other discuss these business tactics. So I'll see you there. Talk soon.